I'm going to demonstrate how I introduce the learning tools and immersive reader to our students. The first thing I have them do is log into Office 365 and go to their OneDrive. The reason is I want them to create a new Word document. So I have them go to New at the top, and then Word document. For this demonstration, I'm just going to paste text in, but you could have students type their story or have them open a document that they've already created. Once ready, go to the View menu at the top, and then go to Immersive Reader. Once in the Immersive Reader view, you have a few options. The first one at the bottom allows you to have the text read to you. The Settings button to the right of that allows you to adjust the speed and select the voice that you would like. Then you simply press the Play button to have your story read to you. Learning Tools learning Immersive, tools immersive reader, reader creates a reading experience that adds accessibility, accessibility and comprehension for learners of all ages and abilities. To me, this tool is great for proofreading because you can hear your errors or hear when you've repeated something over and over and over. After using it with a group of sixth graders, I had one student reply that she had used excited way too often. So now, if you look at the tools in the top right, we're going to go through what they do. The first one allows you to adjust the text size. This is really handy when I forget my glasses. But it's also helpful in that it increases the size here, but does not affect the formatting on your original document. You can also increase the spacing and turn that on or off adjust the font, but I think my favorite are the themes. I have trouble sometimes reading black text on a white background because of the glare, but I find this view a lot easier. Some of your students may find the color backgrounds may be more helpful. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the black background with a white font, and then we're going to go on to the next tool. The next menu has some pretty incredible things for the classroom. The grammar options. I can turn syllables on or off, which helps with sounding out the words, and they also have parts of speech. When I present this to students, I talk about what each sentence needs, how you need to have a noun, you need to have a verb, so I suggest that they turn on first just the nouns and verbs. Depending on what color background, they've now created the ability to change the color of those highlighted terms. That way, if you have a green background, you don't want things highlighted in green and can make it easier to see. The last thing I encourage them to do is turn on the adjectives to look for those descriptive words in their writing. You can also turn on the labels for each of those parts of speech. One caveat about this is that every once in a while, it doesn't understand the context of the sentence. For example, a student wrote about receiving a Christmas present and it thought the word was present, as in, I present you with the Oscar. So that's something to just give your students a heads up about. The last tool set is called Reading Preferences. Reading Preferences has an amazing tool called Line Focus. When I taught special ed, I used to create reading cards for my students where I would cut a window out of an index card so they could focus on one line of text at a time. With line focus, they can do it digitally. As it reads the story, it will focus on each line. Abilities. With the learning tools. They can also set it to three lines, five lines, or turn it off altogether. The last tool on this menu is a new addition called Picture Dictionary. The beauty of this is students can click on words and they can have it read to them, but if they find a word that also has a picture that goes along with it, it gives them a prompt as to what that word is, and it's great for second language learners. Tools. You can also click on the speaker button and it will read that word to the student. So as you can see, there's a lot of potential in this program. One thing I want you to be aware of is you cannot make edits within this for using Word Online, so when you need to make changes to your document, be sure you show them how to click on that arrow at the top to go back to their editing view.